Welcome back to the Medical Board Exam Experience with Dr. Kwafu. Medical education in China is six years. The final year, which is the sixth year, is considered an internship year. In this year, the student is expected to spend the entire year in a hospital setting to gain clinical experience. On a normal day, most of the students will go back to their home country to spend this internship year. Few of them also decide to spend their internship year in China hospitals. This year, due to the pandemic and closing of borders, most of the students chose to do their internship in China hospitals. Before they started their internship, there were a lot of concerns raised by some of the students, families and friends as to whether China hospitals are really safe for their wars. We have some of the internship students here with us today who are going to share with us the experience in China hospitals so far. Viewers on this channel, I interview doctors who have successfully passed or failed any medical board exams to share their exam preparation experience with us and with all those preparing to write DS. I encourage anyone watching me at this moment to kindly subscribe to this channel and also recommend this channel to any medical student or medical doctor who is preparing to write the board exams of any country. If you have experience with the board exams of any country and would like to share with us, kindly reach out to me on my Facebook page, Instagram, or leave a comment at the comment section under this video and I'll keep in touch. Hey guys, this is Shija here. I'm an Indian doing my internship in China at the second affiliated hospital of Final Medical University. And this is my second department now, and that is obstetrics. And first I was in the gynecology department. But when I started my internship, I was really scared to go to the hospital because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But after a week, I wasn't that much scared to go to the hospital because I see the preventive measures in the hospital. Uh, basically, in the outpatient building, uh, they check, check the temperature for every single person who enter into the hospital. And I also noticed that every, every people in the hospital, they are using the nose mask and also uh, I see them using the sanitizer frequently which is really a good thing. Also, I came to know that there is no COVID patient in the hospital right now. So, uh, I wasn't that much scared about that. Me personally, I always use nose mask no matter I'm in the hospital or also the hospital, I always use nose mask and I feel that's a responsibility for every citizen. And uh, I sanitize my hand as soon as I go out of a patient room also before using my mobile, before having food. And the first thing I do when I reach home is taking shower. So uh, I make sure I take shower as soon as I reach home also. I keep my coat and the clothes I use in the hospital separately. I wash them separately. So these are some of the preventive measures uh, me personally I follow. And I really pray that we as a world, we will unite together and get over this COVID pandemic. Please be responsible to yourself and everyone around you. I'm Geshin Peter Maxwell, a Ghanaian, and, and I'm having my internship at the second affiliated hospital of Hainan Medical University now. Um, I had my medical school in Hainan Medical University itself, and as such, I'm having the internship at the second affiliated hospital. So far, so good. I think it's been wonderful. I've been to two departments already and I'm in my third department. I was at the nephrology department, moved to endocrinology, and currently at the traditional Chinese medicine department. It's quite a broad department with the use of Chinese medicine to treat various kinds of ailments. So it's quite a general practice over here in this department. Um, I would say, uh, there is this little fear of the COVID-19 um, whenever I'm in the hospital. Uh, there is that fear, you know, when you are in the elevator and somebody just cough, then you are like, oh, what is going to happen now? Are you going to get the virus? But I think they are just fear that with time, those fears all alleviate. Um, I personally observe all the protocol at the hospital. I wear my nose marks every time, but because of this video, I just took it off so I could have this video. I wash my hands frequently, and after conducting physical examination on patients, I use hand sanitizer to sanitize my hand 
almost every time. So um, I basically observe all the protocols to protect myself. Um, I would like to say that these are quite hard times that we are in and I will urge all of us to follow the protocols by World Health Organization, wash your hands every time, use sanitizer, use nose masks to protect yourself every time. And these two shall pass. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Rita Ngasa from Cameroon and I'm a medical student in China. I'm currently doing my internship at the first affiliated hospital of Hainan Medical University. So far, I've been to the pediatrics department and this is our sixth week and right now I'm at the cardiovascular department. So many people have been asking me if I'm scared of going to the hospital every day due to the pandemic, but I would say no because before starting my internship, I knew already that China was under control, so I'm not really scared of going to the hospital and uh, I'm very fine. Also, about the preventive measures, the main ones at the hospital are always wearing a mask, regularly washing our hands, and also sanitizing. That's very important. And the last one, we as interns and also medical doctors, we don't take our lab coats back home to avoid contamination. We just take them back at the end of the week. So don't be afraid, just keep the rules and all is all right. Hello, my name is Francis Chumesi. I'm a Ghanaian and then I'm having my internship at the second affiliated hospital of Hainan Medical University. Um, it's been quite interesting because I quite remember I'm um, on the first day of our internship. Actually, everybody was just trying to dodge any department with COVID-19 patients. And I mean, I'm sure all medical students know that respiratory department is the actual responsive, responsible department for what? COVID-19 patients. So on the first day, most students like myself were trying to escape having their department or having that allocated to them. But fortunately or unfortunately for me, I couldn't even dodge that bullet, you know, because I started my first internship rotation at the respiratory department. But lo and behold, you know, it, it was so good. Trust me, it wasn't as um, I was being so paranoid about because I remember the weekend before internship, I had to go to the pharmaceutical shop, buy some sanitizers and personal gloves for myself, but and also a nose mask. But then um, once that we got to the hospital, I realized ah, it's not, it's not, it's not really that. I mean, something to be scared of. It's just the normal routine thing. With or without COVID-19, every responsible doctor would actually be wearing his or her, I mean, gloves with, when touching a patient. Every responsible doctor would be, you know, wearing a nose mask when attending to any patient that has a chance of infection. You get what I mean? So it was, it was, it has been, it has been almost like that and then it wasn't anything scary at all so so far i would say that my department was good i started with um respiratory department right now at the moment i'm having my last week of um gastrointestinal yeah gastroenterology yeah sure so it's been it's been good it's been good and then there's not been any special you know um, preventive measures, but I think the basic and general safety measures were or have been observed. So anytime we enter the department, I mean the hospital in general, you have to go through this, I mean temperature scanning then, and then once you get to the department, I mean you, even before you get into the department, personally for me, before I even enter the elevator, 
or even before I enter the gates of the hospital, I make sure my 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 nose mask is already on. Yeah, I make sure my nose mask is already on. So once you get down to the, I mean down to the elevators, you pass by the screening, the temperature screening point, and then you get to your department. During your morning rounds, every, I mean every doctor or intern around has his or her, you know, nose mask on. So right after that, and then one thing I realize is that most of the wards, most of the wards have sanitizers installed, you know, most of the wards have sanitizers installed. So after performing any physical examination, or even after touching a bed, having to touch the patient or anything in the world, you just have to, you know, wipe off with the, your sanitizers and then, yeah, that, that has been it all, that has really been it all. It hasn't been so much scary, it hasn't been anything to be paranoid about, just make sure you have or uh, you are observing the basic, you know, safety and preventive measures. Thank you very much. Hi. Hello everyone. I'm Baba Ali from Ghana. And Hello guys. I'm Catalina Sararijin from Cameroon. Alright, so currently we are doing our internship at the second affiliated hospital of Hainan Medical University and we are at the respiratory department in our fourth week now. We started six weeks ago. We first did our two weeks at the neurology department and we are in our fourth week in the respiratory department. So, Sarah is going to tell us about COVID-19 and internship so far. Okay, seeing that we started our internship in China, how my friend said it's now six weeks, people from home, friends, all of them are calling to ask how we did it with the, with the COVID-19 in China, sure, sure. mostly in the hospital, if you are not scared, for me, truthfully, I'm scared. I don't know about my <laughs> Okay, friend. initially I was scared, but now it has died down a little bit. The way I was looking at it, it didn't turn out that way, so I'm a bit okay. But not fully okay, okay. But it's better than before, though, I can say. <laughs> In our hospital, um, they are making prevention for us, how we know. We are wearing our nose masks, we wash our hands frequently. I'm sorry, this is our nose mask though, in case. <laughs> That's our nose mask. Mm, we are washing right, our so, hands, how I yeah. said. Personally for me, I don't go home with my lab coat because I don't want any infection. Only except if I want to wash it. Yeah, sure. The same thing. I, let's say I, I'll keep it here for the whole week. Then on Friday, I'll take it, go wash it. Then on Monday, I'll bring it back. That's how I do it. So that I won't contact any diseases or whatsoever. Yeah, so that's what, how we've been doing it. And as Sarah said, um, the hospital is, you know, putting measures to also help us, you know, control the, the, the outbreak. So every month, they give us nose mask to, you know, where at the department yeah and in every department there is uh, there are sanitizers and soap and whatever uh, uh, water to wash your hands at at any point in time that you want to you know wash your hands or make your like your hand clean yeah so those are the measures that are having put in place to help us control also this also outbreak. when you want to touch a patient you have to wear gloves Sure, so that, that one is very know, important. So that you get any infection after you wash it in your hand. Yeah. That is the thing that we are doing in China. Yeah. I yeah. think in China, how you know, the pandemic is under control. So now I'm not scared how I used to be scared. So I want just to tell all the people who watch this video to continue to prevent yourself against the COVID-19 by using the prevention that the WHO puts sure, outside. Sure. How you mentioned mm -hmm. at the beginning of the video, washing the hands, exactly. wearing our mm -hmm. nose mask. Yeah, using sanitizers where there's no soap and water, you have to use your sanitizer so that your hand will continue to be clean. Exactly. So yeah, and Maybe you want to tell them something too. Um, then, yes, yeah, I, I think you said it all. You know, like this outbreak, um, believe it or not, is, is there. Is there. So 
you have to always make sure that you are, you you are you are keeping a very good hygiene you know so that you won't also contact it and also make other people to also contact it because you wouldn't know until you, you you start showing the signs and for the signs to even show up it takes some days so before that time you know before the signs begins to show up you would have spread it all around your family your friends and what have, and what have you so we have to do well to always protect ourselves and also protect the people around us. So I think that's all that I can say about this whole issue. Alright, so thank you. See you later. Bye. Hello everyone. My name is Farida Gombela, a Ghanaian intern at the first affiliated hospital of Highland Medical University. So far, I've been to the pediatric department and I'm currently at the cardiology department. Each morning when I wake up, I feel safe coming to the hospital because the um, COVID-19 has been under control in China for quite a long time. Let me say about four to six months now, especially in my city, Haiko. So like coming to the hospital, I feel so happy because I get to practice a lot of things that I learned in class. So what we should be doing in the hospital is that we, we are made to follow the right protocols that we are supposed to and follow in order to prevent infections. So we start from using your nose mask, sanitizing, and then before you get to a patient during ward rounds, you have to sanitize from one patient to another just in case of infection prevent cross infections and then before we leave the hospital to be made to leave our lab coats in the hospital so that you didn't carry any infection to your home and once you get to the house you wash your hands that's the first thing I do I wash my hands and then sanitize before I do anything else Thank you. hello everyone my name is Rebecca Emily Judah I'm a Cameroonian citizen in China, studying medicine at Hainan Medical University. So if you don't know about Hainan, Hainan is the island in the southern of China. So now we are presently on our internship. So I've been to the pediatrics department and now in the cardiovascular department. And so far so good. My friends and families have been asking me if I was actually scared of starting my internship in China. I would actually say no because China as a whole has been able to control the situation of coronavirus, of the pandemic here in China. And actually in my province, we didn't have that much cases. So it was, it's been long we had any new cases in our province. So basically the city is also safe and generally the hospital area has been safe. So starting the internship at the hospital, though we take um, preventive measures like always sanitizing, wearing on a mask, as you see me on, and then doing our rounds after checking every patient, we also need to sanitize before moving on to the other, the, the next. So basically, that's some of the ways we also take on our sites on preventing any spread or contamination and also we leave our lab coats at the hospital before leaving and we constantly wash our hands on my side when i go back i just take a quick bath and on during weekends i take my look my lab coat home to have it washed and clean for the next the next week so basically that's my own way of preventing and i'm just trying to encourage you guys to stay safe, take the necessary preventive measures all around wherever you are. Just continue continuously wear your mask, sanitize, wash your hands regularly with soap and water. And yeah, you will be fine. Trust God, everything will be fine soon and the world will come back to its normal. Thank you, Dr. Kwafo, for this opportunity. Take care. Hi, Thank everyone. You. My name is Antoine Philip James. And I'm a student of Final Medical University and I'm not doing my internship at the first affiliated hospital of Final Medical University. So far, I've been to the pediatrics department and I'm now at cardiology doing my rotations here. And I can say that everything is under control and everything is moving on smoothly. Um, whenever you wake up in the morning, 
and they are about to come to the hospital for your rotations. You have this sort of this feeling about this COVID-19 pandemic, whether everything has been under control or the virus is still moving around. But we, we tend to assure ourselves that um, everything is under control and there is no problem here because um, the nicety, especially in China, with being able to control this virus really well. So we just assure ourselves that everything is okay. And whenever we come in to make sure that we observe all the safety protocols of this pandemic by washing our hands regularly and also sanitizing our hands because these hand sanitizers have been made readily available at vantage points at the hospital. And whenever we are doing ward rounds to make sure that we sanitize properly before we move to another patient in order to avoid these sort of cross infections and other stuff. So I can see that it is safe for us to do our internship here. We come here, we do all procedures or all examinations or whatever we are supposed to do basically as interns. We do what is expected and what is required of us basically as interns. So we just do it normally, just like any other intern would do anywhere in the world. So everything is under control and everything is moving on smoothly as expected so that is what you can say so family and friends should just calm down we are doing all right we are just doing our internship smoothly and everything is moving on so well so thank you all and thank you prince doctor 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 Kofu, for this opportunity to love you all bye bye Hello, my name is Tendinkos Zulu and I'm from Zambia. I'm currently doing my internship at the Third Affiliated Hospital of Hainan Medical University in China. And I started my internship a little over a month ago and I've been to the gynecology department and I'm currently rotating in the obstetrics department. So concerning our safety uh, when it comes to COVID-19 in the hospital, I think um, the situation in China has definitely subsided and everything is under control. But that, however, has not stopped us from uh, following every preventive measure necessary in order for us to be safe against uh, COVID-19. We still wash our hands regularly, we sanitize, we put on face masks uh, our temperatures are taken whenever we leave the hospital whenever we, we enter the hospital in order to prevent anything uh, coming in or leaving the hospital so uh, we put on eye protection when it's necessary so um, in as much as everything is relatively normal we haven't stopped uh, being cautious we haven't stopped uh, observing every rule when it comes to COVID-19 everything is pretty much um, okay for me so i haven't had any challenges i think it's pretty much very safe to do your internship in china at this time uh, i haven't had any challenges at all so and lastly i would like to say i hope absolutely everyone takes care of themselves you follow every preventive measure that has been stipulated by the world health organization you know what they say prevention is definitely better than cure and i think when it comes to the fight against covid19 absolutely every human being should play a role and so uh, make sure you take care of yourself and stay safe hi okay my name is victoria bain um from ghana and i'm currently having my internship in the first affiliated hospital um actually i've been to one department and my second department now i was in the gynecology department <laughs> and yeah the women <laughs> and i'm now I'm, I'm now with the kids i mean pete well it's fun it's amazing yeah it's amazing by those guys ah uh, well what can i say you know there are so many things that are being done over here um, like when you're about to enter the hospital, they check your temperature, they check if you have a nose mask on. If you don't have a nose mask on, they tell you to put on or sometimes they send you back, depending on the security man over there. If you're lucky, the person is going to give you a nose mask <laughs> or tell you to make sure you get a nose mask. Um, sometimes some departments even give you nose mask, like the gynecology department, they used to give us nose mask no masks i mean and even when you go for world rounds um and you touch any patients you are being told to go wash your hands or use a sanitizer like you have some of your colleagues telling you that like guys are supposed to go wash your hands <laughs> yes um what other things that we do over here we don't send our lab codes home all the time to you know infect our clothing <laughs> we leave them there and Maybe at the end of the week, you send it home or sometimes you leave it there so that they will wash it the way they do wash the other stuff. 
the other doctor's lab coats. Aside that, uh, when you get home or when I get home, yo, I hardly go wash my hands. Like, yeah. So, um, am I scared? No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Why? Because um yes is where the outbreak started in this country but not my city <laughs> um um things are under control and so i don't see what i'm supposed to be scared yes i entreat each and everyone to make sure we follow those preventive measures or the rules and the instructions given to us by the who the teachings and everything that will help prevent you and i from contracting this disease or this yeah so please and please and please make sure you do follow these guidelines, you follow these instructions so that you still be alive as you are now and you will not fall sick and you will not increase our workload because we need you to be alive. Thank you.